Greetings once again, music lovers. We all know that Sunday is traditionally Rotary Pancake Day. Um, maybe not on the festival circuit, but around the rest of the world. How did this band become Rotary Pancake Day? This is actually their debut as this performing ensemble at, at Falcon Ridge. They did play at Winterhawk last year, and they have been here in various other permutations in the past. You've got members of the uh, Horseflies and the Heartbeats here, as well as Bruce Molsky, who's got his own career as a, as a fiddler. They come together for the love of music, and I'm sure we're going to love it this morning. Please welcome Rotary Pancake Day. Thanks a lot. That's called Blackjack Grove, obviously a fiddle tune. We're going to play another fiddle tune, but uh, I guess I've got, I'll straighten out just a piece about the name. Um, Sundays aren't our day, actually, for the name. They're Tuesdays. In, in Ithaca, New York, where some of us are from, on election day, at the Women's Community Building, they do a Rotary Pancake Day buffet. A 
pancake buffet all day long. And uh, we never go there. But we like the sign on the wall of the building. This next thing is called Wild Horse and the Cane Break. sad old song. And too much happiness around here this weekend. So no, it's not it's absolutely not true. The best the best uh, sad songs to play are the ones that don't have anything to do with your own personal experience in your life. You can be as sad as you want and it's like somebody else. And in this case it's somebody from a long, long time ago. This this kind of uh, is the negative of the celebration of the uh, industrial revolution as reflected through the experiences of a cobbler around eighteen hundred. And it's called Peg and All. Hundred 
tradition of duet fiddling, unaccompanied, well, we're accompanying each other duet fiddling, unaccompanied by guitar and banjo and all those other cool things. Um, Judy and I are going to play a, an old-fashioned piece as soon as I get my other fiddle here. Maybe you can tell them what it's called. This is a tune called Three-Way Hornpipe. I don't know if it's really a hornpipe, but it definitely has uh, three good parts. This morning we accidentally started calling it the freeway hornpipe. Thank you. 
Thanks a lot. so much. Thanks a lot. About uh, two years ago in the National Geographic there was a story about a Turkish uh, sheep herder and the story was really about the sort of the changing seasons and the hard life and uh, at one point when he was bringing the sheep down from high mountains to the valley for the winter um, he explained to the journalist who was with him as they moved from an area where there were a lot of trees into an open space where it was pretty windswept. He was explaining this, this transition to the journalist and, and he used a phrase that seemed like a really good phrase for a song. He said, here we go through the edge and out into the empty. So this is a song that uses that line but it's not about a Turkish sheep herder.
Ice on the sidewalk A mother and daughter Nothing between them is Snow on the side street The mother's been drinking I guess I need to be here Here we go Through the edge And out into the empty With you Here we go Ice in the driveway The mother's still drinking It's a strange and conflicted love Water is seeping And the weather's not changing Can we ever do enough? Here we go through the edge and out into the empty with you. Here we go through the edge and out into the A mother and daughter Nothing between them is clear Snow in the side street Children in high heel I guess I need to be here
to me the kind of weather and the kind of time of day and the kind of everything that calls for groove more than anything else. If you could give me a nice big old fat bottomy guitar sound, that would be really nice on this 535. I'll just play a little instrumental piece that I wrote in the kind of West African tradition. And uh, it doesn't even have a name. Maybe you'll give me one.
you. Thank you, Bruce. Really nice. Hints of Africa. We're going to do a waltz next, and this is one that Judy wrote, and it's named after her sister. Her sister's name is Beth, so we call it Beth's Waltz. We make it kind of easy on you, the signing interpreter, right? You just to kind of float and do this stuff, yeah. That's I, I really loved it. You know, there was a there there was a transition point at which signers started doing stuff to all the rhythm-oriented instrumental music. I mean, in the early days of sort of signing at folk festivals, I remember they'd only do the songs with lyrics, and then somebody started doing this. You know, so it's a good thing. Well, we've got one more for you. Thanks for hanging around. 
got a beautiful rest of the day to look forward to. And we're Rotary Pancake Day and appreciate the opportunity to be here and play music for you while you sit there in blankets and beach chairs and relax. So thanks a lot. That's Rose Sinclair, Judy Hyman, June Drucker, Jeff Klaus, and I'm Bruce Malski. And here's a tune written by our wonderful bass player, June Drucker, called Going Back to Israel. Thank you all a lot.